Then comes in Muammar Gaddafi. Gaddafi and Doe had this uh, rivalry where Doe, Gaddafi was trying to expand his influence in Africa, and Doe was the American uh, ally, resisting Gaddafi very forcefully. As uh, talked that at an OU conference, they almost came to blows. Now, Muammar Gaddafi had he had a plan to create uh, a union of Arab states where he would be the overlord. The United States was able to rebuff that using their influence with you know, moderate Arab states like uh, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Egypt. And so Gaddafi felt like he had to continue this fight with America. And so since he could not bring the fight to America's shores, Liberia became the proxy ground for this fight. And so Gaddafi provided uh, the financing and the training base in Libya for you know, the, the Taylor group. I've heard stories that Prince Johnson was actually in Libya before Taylor brought uh, his men, and so Prince never really felt that Taylor was his boss, which explains you know, how they eventually wound up splitting up. So they train in Libya, and their transit point of arms and men was from Libya through Burkina Faso to the Ivory Coast. And they started this war by launching cross-border hit-and-run raids. They would hit in Liberia and run back into the Ivory Coast and receive sanctuary. And rather than the Liberian army fighting the rebels, they began to systematically, again, target the people of Neymar County. That created a huge wave of refugees across the border. They would go into the town, uh, just shoot indiscriminately. They would tie people up in a house and burn them to death. And those who escaped were deeply angry, and it provided uh, a breeding ground for recruits for the NPFL. And I believe that Taylor did this deliberately and diabolically, knowing fully well that if he, uh, if he did anything in Nima County, Doe was going to go in to burn the ground. And so they carried this out. And unfortunately, we've seen the damage that was done to the country. 